Welcome to Magic Info Services. In this video, I will show you how to configure your video wall and how to create content for it. I have already created a group which I want to have the video wall into. So these are the five displays. I've already named the group a video wall. These are the five displays I want to configure. So click on this option, settings and new. Here you can select the way your displays are orientated and click on create. Here you can see the five displays that I have as well. Now a number will pop up on the displays that I have mounted on the wall and these numbers you have to fill in in Magic Info in order to get the order right. Once you've done this you can go to the second step. The second step is to create a pattern and the pattern will be spread across the displays to see if the displays are in the right order. So select the pattern and the displays will create the pattern as you can see. Now once this is done all you have to do is go to the final step. The final step is basically the confirmation if the displays are in the right order and if the pattern is spread the right way. So in this case, yes it is, so I can confirm. So the pattern will be gone and in a minute a V will show up, here it is, to indicate that the displays are in a video wall group. Next up is we're going to create content. I've already uploaded four items, two images and two videos. So we're going to go to the web author to create the content. Please note to select the VWL file and not the standard LFD file. Once you've done this, you have to select your video wall group by dropping down in your organization and select your video wall group. Click on create and here are the five displays that I have just configured as a video wall. So I will drop a video in the, in the configuration and I will spread it across three displays. There you go. Now on the other two devices I will just show an image. Next up is I'm gonna create another page because you cannot create a playlist if you're using a video wall. So everything you want in one playlist you basically create it in the web author. And I'm going to click on save. Now if you refresh the content page, you will see the VWL file that I just created. It's now also a part of the content. So as I mentioned, you can skip the playlist and you can go directly to schedule. So I'm going to create a new schedule, select content, select the player, which is inside my video wall screens, which is an S6 and select the video wall schedule type. Select the video wall group again. Save it. And here I can drag and drop my VWL file into the schedule. I usually click on never expire and run for 24 hours. And as you can see, the content type is now on video wall instead of the default player setting. Save it. And all that is left is click on save and publish. Once this is done, Magic Info will send the content directly to the displays, which will, which will just be there in a matter of seconds. You already got the notification that the content is sent to the display successfully, and here it is. I got one video spread over three devices and I got one image spread over two devices. And this is basically how to configure a video wall and how to create content for it. Thanks for watching.